So you've done it. You've basically fled my DMs and the comment section on my Instagram, TikTok, my YouTube, and in person as well. And you know what? It's been a long time coming, but I finally sat myself down today to finally show you how I edit and color grade using CapCut. And for those who don't know, CapCut is a free editing software that you can use both on your desktop as well as your phone. Today, I'm gonna to be editing using my computer, but I've already made a tutorial using my phone. So for those who wanna watch that, you can find the link to that video in the description. But other than that, let's, let's get straight to it. Once you have your clips imported into CapCut, all you wanna do is click on the filters tab and there you should see one that's called Oppenheimer. All you wanna do is click on it and drag it down and stretch it out to your desired outcome for your videos. And on the right, you can see I'm playing around with the strength. This is gonna determine the intensity of the actual filter. I actually apply a second filter called Humble. I think layering this with Oppenheimer really complements it and gives the video more depth. So once you click on the adjustments, you can see on the right hand side, there's a lot of settings like the temperature, the hues, the saturations, all little things just to adjust the video clip itself. So so I sort of just play around and just go off what I think looks best given the video that I'm editing. So as you can see, I'm putting the highlights up and down just to see what I think looks best. And I'm just gonna drag it down, the drag down the shadows as well, just creating more depth for the video in my opinion, just creating more depth in the video. And again, use this as a guide or an inspiration because your videos and my videos won't ever be exactly the same. Next, as you can see, I go into the color wheels. This is in the pro version, but I'm pretty sure that you can still do this in the free version. Um, but I just thought I'd show you anyways. This is just playing around with the shadows. As you can see, I am increasing the strength and intensity again. But again, use this as a rough guide. The tint, I always like mine a little bit greenish. I like warmer colors in my videos. So I'm dragging it towards the orange and red area, which gives it a warmer vibe and feel to the video itself. So if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you leave a like down below and comment what you think so far and i really appreciate if you can subscribe as well without further ado let's get straight back into the editing so these are just a couple of my bonus tips i thought i'd throw in this video as well i've been getting a lot of questions about how i stabilize my videos and in cap cut fortunately you can actually do this as you can see there's plenty of options to stabilize your videos i obviously want the camera to be the most stable and replicate the tripod as as much as I can with handheld footage. Second question I get often is halation. How do I actually achieve it in my videos? And CapCut, fortunately enough, they have this effect called luminance. It's really awesome. Click on it and drag it down to my video clips. And on the right hand side, you can play with the strength and the filters intensity. I like mine a little bit lower than usual. And as you can see, just from that, it really just makes the video pop even more than it already is. Really, it's that easy and simple and CapCut just makes it all the much better. This is how I create that in and out zoom effect that you guys mention a lot in my comments. And this is how I do it. All I have to do is just click on a keyframe at the start and finish, dragging it closer or further away, creating that zoom effect. All I do next is export it. And as you can see, these are my settings that I export using CapCut and they're very close to the ones that I do using Final Cut. So CapCut is really leveling the game in advanced editing. So if you're a beginner looking to video editing, I highly recommend checking out CapCut. Um, again, this is not sponsored at all by any means, but I do believe CapCut is one of the best editing softwares when it comes to video editing. As you can see, look at those results. The video speaks for itself. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the raw footage and the video clip that we just edited. And I promise you, you can achieve a similar look when applying these effects. So that's basically it. CapCut makes it super straightforward and simple to color grade using its inbuilt filters. Personally, color grading is one of my favorite parts about the editing process, just seeing what you've captured using your camera and turning it to closest thing as a film, which is very exciting and fun while you're just seeing it come to life. But let me know what you think down below. Hopefully you've learned a thing or two from this video, a few things that you can apply to yourself and your videos. And other than that, I'll see you in the next one.